there's a tradition that every verse in the Torah corresponds to that year on the biblical calendar. We are now in the year 5782, according to that calendar. We just entered this year uh, recently. Uh, so you would have to go to verse 5782 uh, to find the verse for that year. Um, I'm just going to begin two verses up just to show something related to that verse uh, and a very interesting coincidence, perhaps. Um, it's Deuteronomy 32.25. So our verse for our year is 27, verse 27, but I'm going two years um, back to show something kind of interesting that's related to it. So here we have the sword shall deal death without, as shall the terror within to youth and maiden alike, the suckling as well as the aged. So this would have been for the year, the majority 2020 in the Gregorian calendar. And we all remember that that year was all about one thing, quarantine. So then you go look this verse up the only time it's really quoted is uh one time and here's what it says the sages taught if there's a plague in the city gather your feet as in limit the time you spend out of the house as it is stated in the verse and none of you shall go out of the opening of his house until morning and it says in another verse come my people enter into your chambers and shut your doors behind you. Hide yourself for a little moment until the anger has passed by. And then it quotes our verse here. Okay, so that's kind of interesting that the verse um, for 5780, which was 2020, is about quarantining yourself from a plague. And they even mention it here in another uh, translation, a uh, very similar translation, but they do remember, they do. Uh, note, like, there will be a heightened anxiety that will also kill people. Uh, and it says, within your house there will be terror of impending fear of plague. Very interesting that plague is mentioned here and to be quarantining yourself from it. So this would have been the one for last year then. We'll shut this down. 26 would be f for last year. I might have reduced them to naught or to nothing, talking about Israel, made their memory cease among men. So totally eradicated them. Except for the fear of the taunts of the foe, of the enemy. Their enemies who might misjudge and say, our own hand has prevailed. None of this was done by the Lord. Or none of, or all this was not done by the Lord. Let's get another translation here. Um, were it not that the enemy's wrath was heaped up. So as angry as he is at Israel, uh, the enemy <laughs> has a huge amount saved up um, of God's wrath. Were it not that the enemy's wrath was heaped up against them to destroy them, and if the enemy would succeed in overtaking them and destroying them, being Israel, he would attribute the greatness to himself and to his little deity. But he would not attribute the greatness to me, to Hashem, says God. This, then, is the meaning of lest their adversaries distort or twist or confuse, lest they misconstrue the matter by attributing their might to an alien God or an alien to whom greatness does not belong. You can see here the word uh, nokri. It makes note of this word here, which is a type of non-Jew. Very interesting. Uh, so that's what I have for now on 5782 or what is like the back end of 2021 and the majority of 2022.